Today we're looking at area of a triangle calculations using trigonometry as part of the National 5 course. I'm going to create two video clips today. The first one will deal with uh, just using the formula uh, with the uh, triangles and also calculating backwards when you're given the area and possibly trying to find out the angle. And uh, the other video itself will be looking at extension work where we're looking at uh, various polynomials and trying to work out um, some side lengths. Right, let's start with uh, the questions that we've got here and the first kind of introduction that we would have. The, the first thing I would say is that uh, the formula that we've got here is a formula that you will get in your formula list. So make sure when you see the area of a triangle that you check your formula list to make sure that you're using the correct uh, formula. Right, so questions. I've got three questions on this page here. What I'll do is I'll do the first one and uh, I'll leave you to do the others and I'll just answer them right away as well. First question there, okay, so we're going to calculate the area of the triangles below using this formula and we'll give our answers to four significant figures uh, where appropriate. Right, the first one what I can see is of, uh, for part A, I can see a, a triangle I have here uh, I've got two side lengths and I've got an angle in between the two sides. Now that's the setup I really need uh, to use this formula here. What I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to label up the sides with uh, some letters and I'm going to start with C. So C is where the angle is because I need the sign of the angle so I'm going to call this C here and it doesn't matter which one I label A or B, I'll just go for the top being A the bottom one B, they're capital letters. Um, smaller letters going across from the, the capitals, so A, this side here would be side A, this side here would be side B, this side here would be side C. And I don't really need side C because I'm not going to use that at all in the formula. Right, so, so as, I've said, as I've already said, what we do is we, we need to have the angle and the sides that are beside it, coming, coming away from that corner. Right, so let's go for the area. Area is equal to half AB sine C. These are all multiplied together. And we'll, I'm just going to substitute into the formula. So I've got a half times A. So A value is 8. So that's times 8. I'm going to multiply that by B, which is 6. And then I'm going to multiply that by sine of the angle. And the angle there is 30 degrees. So just a basic substitution as we go forward with this part here. What I'll then do is I'll go to my calculator and in the calculator what I'll go for is just going to call that uh, 0 0.5 for a half. So 0 0.5 times 8 times 6 times sine, so the sine button. Make sure your calculator's in degrees okay? and sine 30 and equals. From there I get an answer of 12. I'm working in centimetres, so that'll be square centimetres. I don't need to write that to four significant figures, as that's just really a, a whole number there. Right, so that's part A complete. If you want to try the next couple, um, there's a couple of wee twists there because the, the letters are already given, they don't match up with the formula, and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, let's go ahead and do it. So for part B, there's kind of two ways that I could do that. I could relabel this triangle just the same way as I've done with this one here, calling this part C, A and B. I could do that, that would work. Um, the, the other way I can do it is I can rearrange the formula around to use the letters that I'm actually given. I'm going to try it that way, okay? So the area, first of all, is I'm going to just write down a half AB sine C. I'm going to rearrange this because I'm thinking that this is C, okay? So my area is going to be a half of F times G times the sine of E. So all I've done is just rearrange the formula around just to, to use the letters that have been given. And as I've said, you could label the C, A and B and do the same as we did for the first one. Right, let's put our numbers in. So I've got a half of F. So F is going to be 20, so this is F that's across here, this one's E, and this one's G. Okay. I've got G, so G is going to be 17, so that's uh, 20 times 17, and we're multiplying that by the sine of 48 degrees. 
Now this, this side here is something we don't really need. So this is not required, okay? So we don't always need to use all the information that we're given. This one here would be one that uh, certainly we don't really need in this calculation for the area. Right, back to the calculator and let's go ahead and do that. So I've got 0 0.5, I'm going to multiply that by 20 times 17 times sine of 48 degrees equals. And that's going to be 126.3346 and some more characters there. And I have to write it to four significant figures. Four significant figures, cutting the number here. So that's going to give me 126.3. Okay, that's going to be in centimetres, centimetres squared for area. Last question, okay? Remember you can freeze the video and do this question and I'll just show you the answer now. Here we go. So let's see, I've got ABC, so good it's all labelled up, but it doesn't really match up with the equation that I've got at the top. So I'm going to just start by writing down the equation that would be on my formula sheet. And then I'm going to rearrange it again to the letters that I've given. So I can see here the angle I've given, been given is uh, angle B, and I know the sides that are right beside it. So that's, that's the one I'm going to use. So I'm going to rearrange it round. So I'm going to make sure that that's going to be sine of B, and really the other two, it doesn't matter which way I put them round. So A and C. I'll then substitute my numbers in. So I've got a half times A. So A is going to be this one here. So that's going to be nine. C is going to be four. And sine of the angle is 135 degrees. Okay, and to the calculator again. Let's go for 0 0.5 times 9 times 4 times the sine of 135. That gives me 12.7279 and more characters there. Rounding it to four significant figures gives me 12.73 and centimetres squared from there. Okay, so that's, that's the first type of thing that we'll do, and you'll find loads of uh, questions like this in a textbook or in anything that your own teacher can give you out. Let's now go ahead and we'll look at uh, when we're given the area to try to calculate backwards. Okay. Right, so here's some questions I've got here. So I've got three questions here again. Remember on the formula list we know what the formula is, and we can go ahead and calculate. This time here I'm given the area. So I can see the area here for the first triangle is 256 and I've been given two sides that are right beside the angle that I've got here and I'm going to try and calculate the angle X. Okay, so what I can do is I can see that I've got this set up correctly. So what I'm going to do is into this formula here, I'm going to start with it. So the area is going to be equal to a half AB sine C. Okay. So what I can do is I can call this one here C Call this one here A, call this one here B, okay, using the capitals, cross from them, that'll be B, cross from the A is the A, and C, I don't have a value there, don't really need it anyway. What I'll do here is, I'll uh, substitute my values in, so I've got a half times A, so the A value is 64, the B value is going to be 16, and sine of the angle I don't know what that is yet, so I'm going to put that sine x, okay? I do know what the area is, so I can fill this part in here with 2, 5, 6, okay? What I'm then going to do is I'm just going to change the subject of the formula around, and if I leave sine x on this side here, what I'll do is I've got 256 here, I'm going to divide by all of these things here. So that's going to be 0 0.5, 64, and 16. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put that in a bracket because that's the way I'll do it in my calculator if I try to work that out. Right then, so let's let's go ahead and work that uh, left hand side of the equation out and that'll tell me what sine x is going to be equal to. So 256, I'm going to divide that, I'm going to put it into a bracket and that's 0 0.5 times 64 times 16. Close the bracket press equals. So that gives me 0 0.5 here. So what I can then say is that sine x is equal to 0 0.5. Then what I'll do is I'll find the inverse. Remember when we were trying to find an angle, 
we look for the inverse sign for this one here and we'll calculate that I'll go for shift sign so that's the inverse sign that's there I'll put 0 0.5 in from there get 30 degrees and that's my answer the reason why it's going to be 30 degrees is when I look at the diagram as well that X is an acute angle and that'll be since X is acute okay. and that would be part A complete right so there's a bit something a bit more tricky in the part B here because I can see that's an obtuse angle and I'm going to have to do a little bit more work on that one there to try to make sure I get that one correct if you want to have a go at it you can try and uh, I'll um, do it just in the same right then so let's go for part B so what I've got here is, this is my angle here that I'm going to try and work out. So the area is going to be equal to, I'll just start with the, the formula list that I have. So there we go there. I'm going to rearrange it. So that's going to be a half. I'm going to know that A is going to go to this side. So that's going to be sine of A. And let's see, so I know that uh, the others are going to be B and C in there. So let me just rearrange the formula. And remember, you can just rearrange, you can rewrite them out as A, B, C, whichever way you want to do that. Right, I'll put my numbers in first. So I've got a half. So what we've got for B is 14. C is going to be 31.5. Sine of A, we don't know what that is, but uh, that angle there, we're calling that X just now. Okay, and I know what the area is. The area is 141.7. Same as we did above, I'm going to just rearrange, okay? So all of that there, because I'm multiplying all of this over this side, I'm going to divide when I take it over to the, the left-hand side, okay? So I've got 141.7, all divided by 0 0.5 times 14 times 31.5, and I'll put it in the bracket, just so I remember to put it into my calculator in that way, and that's going to be sine x, okay, degrees. Right then, so I can see it's an obtuse angle, so I'm needing to think about that towards the end. So let's just work this part out first of all. So sine x is going to be equal to, right, so we're going for 141.7. I'll divide that by, putting all this in the bracket, 0 0.5 times 14 times 31.5, close the bracket. And that'll give me an answer of 0 0.64263. And characters going on beyond that there. Right then, so from there, what I'm going to look at, because I know it's going to be an obtuse angle, I'm going to just think about my cast table just now. Okay, so because I can see this uh, value here is positive, so I'm really asking the question is it positive or is it negative? And if it's positive, I'm looking at a cast table, all sine and tan and cos. And I know that the solutions I would have to solve that, if it was just a simple equation, would be in the first and the second quadrant. Now the second quadrant is going to give me an obtuse angle, so that's the one that I'm actually looking for, for here. So let's find the quadrant one, or the acute angle first of all, okay? So the acute angle, and I'll just say that that's quadrant one, okay? And that's going to be equal to so that's x, it's going to be equal to the inverse sine of 0 0.64263, and we've got some further characters going there. So, on the calculator, right, I'm going to just put that back in, into the calculator, I've just cancelled that out. So I'm going to divide by 0 0.5 times 14 times the 31.5. That's equal to. So that's me still got that whole number in my calculator that's there. Um, let's see, did I put that in correctly? 1.5. Ah, there it is there. So it's a 0.7 going in there. Okay, so that's the, the correct number that I've got here. And I'll go for the shift and inverse sign okay, of that number there. So I'm just pulling the answer in and that should equal 39.988 degrees or that's equivalent to say say we go for 40 degrees for that one there so the quadrant 2 angle quadrant 2 angle 
is going to be equal to 180 degrees minus the 40 degrees, which gives me 140 degrees for my solution there. Okay, and the reason for that is since x is obtuse. Okay, so just one to be extra careful of when it's an obtuse angle that you have there, because you might get the angle of 40. The, angle, the answer is not going to be 40, it's going to be 140 degrees. So just a wee twist when you look at that type of question there. Right, let's look at part C and we'll try and complete that question. Okay, so in part C, what I've got is I've got the triangle labelled up, got the angle uh, there, I've got the two sides beside it, so I can go ahead and start that one. So let's go with the formula first. So the area is equal to a half AB sine C. Okay, so I know that S is where the angle is that I'm trying to work out. So I'll say that that's going to be equal to a half of RT, and that's going to be sine angle S that's up there. What I'll do is I'll put, uh, put my numbers in now. And the numbers I'm going for, the area is 126, 126.3. And I've got a half here, it's going to be times by or multiplied by the uh, R. So this is R across here, S across here, which we don't need, and T across here. Right, so we'll times that by 17, which is going to be the, the T value. And then multiply that by sine X, which I don't know yet. Divide everything on the left-hand side. So 126.3. All divided by 0 0.5 times 15.3 times 17 in the bracket so I don't lose it and what I'll do is I'll be able to work out what sine x is going to be equal to from that. Right let's get the, the calculator out and go for uh, 126.3 I'll divide that by 0 0.5 times 15.3 times 17 close the bracket and I've got a value there, so that's going to be 0, 0 0.97116 and so forth. And from there, I'll be able to get my angle. So all I'll do is shift and sign. So the inverse, put the answer in, that should give me 76.2 degrees. Okay, 76.2 degrees. And that's since x is acute. Okay, so that's the first part of the, the video so far. Um, what we've got is we've been looking at uh, just using the formula, working through the formula um, and working the area, working backwards to find out the angle, and uh, so the extension work will appear in the next video. Okay, good luck with the uh, area of a triangle.